The U.S. versus China, it's looking more and more like an economic Cold War, and it's not just a talking point at the Pentagon. They are planning for real economic threats to America. Our Eamon Javers has the latest on the war games that are playing out in some high councils around your parts. Eamon? Hey, Tyler. Well, you're right. Ever since the crash of 2008, the defense intelligence establishment has really been paying a lot of attention to global markets and how they could serve as a threat to U.S. national security interests. At one upcoming seminar that we're going to see here next month, they're taking a look at a lot of the issues that might be really familiar to CNBC viewers. Take a look at some of the Pentagon's key concerns here. They're looking at the use of sovereign wealth funds to manipulate markets and currencies. They're looking at nation-state economic collapse, sovereign default, and nation-state instability, and they're also worried about U.S. allies' budgets, deficits, and national security infrastructures. And in the Army, they're having a very interesting year-long exercise called Unified Quest 2011. And in that wargaming series, they're looking at the implications of large-scale economic breakdown inside the United States that would force the Army to keep, quote, domestic order among civil unrest and force the Army to deal with fragmented global power and drastically lower budgets. This, according to the trade publication InsideDefense.com. And in October, military officials from the Marine Corps War Colleges visited the trading floor of J.P. Morgan to study markets and the economy. So, Tyler, you can see that all different parts of the Pentagon and defense intelligence establishment are looking at markets and looking at ways they can present a new kind of threat to the United States. These are the guys whose job it is to think about the very worst possible things that could happen, and they've dreamed up some very scary scenarios here. Dr. All right, Eamon, thank you very much. Eamon Jammer. Eamon uh, just reported about how the Defense Department is looking at sort of nightmare scenarios uh, where there could be sort of basically economic warfare or economic collapse that could be socially destabilizing. I, I, I guess we would all agree that, that it's smart to do that kind of planning, but, but do we really need to worry about that? How worried might you be, for example? Well, I don't know how much to worry to be. I mean, I, one likes to think that the world is rational, and therefore most of the things that are being considered are not particularly rational, like destabilizing markets, uh, because it will affect uh, the, not only us, but the world as a whole, and therefore China. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a worthy thing to, to think about these kinds of things, think about the unthinkable. Uh, in particular, I don't want to be too pejorative here, but uh, educating a few generals and colonels about uh, on economic issues, economic and financial issues, probably would make for an even <laughs> stronger America. Eamon, there are those who would argue that uh, the de one of the issues that you brought up, the destabilization of, of world markets, that, that China has already been able to achieve that in some extent, yeah. when there have been rumors about they're not participating in treasury auctions, or look at some of the disarray in the currency markets. Would yeah. you agree? What are you hearing on that? Well, well, I think here in Washington, you know, sort of the Washington consensus on this would be that there's no question that U.S. power around the world is relatively diminished. China is clearly on the ascent. What the Obama administration has said is, you know, we welcome China's rise, we just have to manage it. Uh, but when you talk about these defense intellectuals who are thinking about these sort of nightmare scenarios, just remember that these are the same people who spent the entire Cold War thinking about nuclear annihilation, and that never happened. And now they're thinking about economic annihilation. That's their job, is to think about the worst possible thing that could happen and make sure that we have some kind of contingency plan, some time, kind of way of dealing with it. But it's no guarantee that it's actually you know, on the horizon or mm -hmm. actually something that might happen. They just have to understand all the threats that face the United States in this new world economic system that we're looking at. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Much. Good point, Eamon. Appreciate it.